Hi guys, I have a little journal with me video to share with you today. I very often get comments from people who are looking into getting into journaling but really don't know where to start and I've done a video on this on my channel before um, about my life isn't interesting enough, my life is boring and I will pop a link to that video down below so you can go and watch that. And I just wanted to show to you that life even the mundane, general, ordinary life is interesting and, you know, it depends on why you're, why you're journaling, but there can be many reasons for journaling. Um, you can journal just because you enjoy doing it and if that is the reason you're journaling, then that is plenty enough reason in itself and it is not narcissistic. I have seen comments of this nature. It is not narcissistic to take selfies and to paint pictures of yourself and put them in the in your journal. It's not narcissistic at all. And, you know, a lot of the the whole point of creating the process is to let go and enjoy yourself and just find that inner peace you get when you're painting and journaling so just put aside anybody else's criticisms or your own inner critic and just enjoy it for you um so what do you journal about there's no better topic than yourself um you know you better than anybody else so why not journal about you get the thoughts out of your head and onto paper it can be an incredibly cathartic experience you know just talking about how your day's been how you felt that kind of thing it does so many wonders just to get it off of your chest but also I personally if if my grandma my grandma uh, passed away my my Mother, my maternal grandma passed away when I was seven. I didn't know her at all. I, ve I, I barely even remember her, if I'm honest. Only the stories that my mum has told me about her. But could you imagine how amazing it would be if my, my nan had, had kept a journal and I could read all about her and her life through her own words and see her life through her own voice, her own eyes. That would just be absolutely amazing. And I just think like things that we go through on an in an everyday kind of thing, you know, they seem mundane, monotonous, boring to us, but to someone in the future to, to, to find those and read, that would just be amazing. You know, even just like what people wore, you know, what they were into, what they saw, what they did, the price of a loaf of bread, a pint of milk, that kind of stuff social history just changes all the time so it would just be really really nice to kind of look back on and see what your see what your grandparents did you know so in this particular journal spread I've just slapped down a big old picture of me and um, I have body confidence issues I'm not gonna lie I am fat you know you guys know that and I do have some kind of medical things that surround that as well um, and so I love wearing crazy clothes, but I don't always have the confidence to do that. And one day on a whim, I saw this rainbow bright dress. I love rainbow bright, you guys. And I bought it and I wore it to my sister-in-law's Hindu. It was bright and it was loud. And I just, you know, genuinely felt totally myself. I felt comfortable. And so I just, I just rocked it. And, you know, I just wanted to kind of like document that about, you know, I need to I need to be more confident in my own skin and more confident for myself so that I can pass on that confidence to my daughter. And um, that sticker that you saw me stick down, that was from a um, Courtney collage sheet, Little Raven Ink. I'm a patron of hers. Um and I take a photo of my of my tiddly. You know, she she has an amazing dress sense, and she already knows, like her like herself and what she's into. And um, I just thought this was a really nice kind of comparison, a journal page, a picture of her and a picture of me, both feeling really comfortable and expressing ourselves in what we're wearing. Um, and just a reminder, you know, to kind of keep being me and be more be more confident so hopefully she can look back on that in years to come with a kind of like a a warmth in her heart on 
on a, another journal spread. Um, not massively impressed <laughs> with myself on the finished result aesthetically, but I really like the fact that what I have documented has been documented. So I'm just adding a little bit of a wash um, of watercolour over my pages and some droplets and sprinkles of watercolour paint just to give a little bit of a background. So I don't know if you guys saw on Facebook or on social media in general, there was a craze a little while ago um, where people were sharing seven black and white photos from their everyday life um, which didn't have people in them and I really 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 enjoyed this challenge I posted mine on my Instagram and so if you want to go and see the photos you can do but I thought this was really interesting because there was so much of our daily lives that would be so interesting to people in the future and years to come. But things that we take for granted, things that we think are boring and mundane that we just don't document, but actually they're interesting. Like in our house, we have a small child. And so they're just kind of, there's always, always piles of laundry. Um, like my breakfast, the girls, ornaments that are on my sideboard, that kind of stuff. So I actually really, really enjoyed this challenge and it prompted me to take photos of things that I probably wouldn't necessarily photograph and document. But now I've got that in my in my journal as a record for um, the future. So aesthetically, it's not the best journal page ever could be. But the meaning behind it is just, you know, is priceless, really, just having those memories documented. And just like, you know, your everyday life to me, that is just just truly precious to have that documented so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at some of my journal pages and I hope it has inspired you to kind of do some more journaling and to journal about your life